Welcome to another Some Guys Productions. Alright, I'm actually going to put you through this. Uh, there is a way to actually have widescreen uh, for Carbon uh, for Mac OS. Uh, as you can see, this link here, um, I'll show you how to do this sort of thing, um, and uh, we'll get to that point in a sec. Uh, but as you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. So you just copy over the game, you have it installed, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so if you go into this directory, this this directory actually it varies um, from game to game. Um, as far as I know, uh, you can actually just get you can get to the C drive part, and then after that, the actual folder that you're after is the Need for Speed Carbon folder is actually. Um, set to here carbon so you just want to copy the carbon folder directly over um, to whatever location you can uh, now it, to do the hack you will need windows to do it um, unfortunately there's no other way you can do this you have to use windows to be able to modify the exe files um, so there's a so if we go straight into Windows here, Windows XP, uh, I'm just going to grab this link so I can grab the download. Just one more sec. All right. I'm just going into Firefox. This is running in Windows XP. So I'm running in VMware Fusion. Just going to go straight in. Hopefully that link copied across. That link copied, yes, looks like it copied across. Beautiful. Alright, we're going in now. <coughs> Alright, this is the file we want to download. Okay, download. It's a zip file, so it should be easily openable. <laughs> That's a word. Uh, where'd that download to? I think it downloaded to my download section. Yes, it did. Brilliant. Alright, so you want to open this up and you want to copy that directly out of the zip file. Yes, I do. Okay, brilliant. Here it is there. Okay. Next, we want to actually go into our Windows folder, and from Fusion, you just go into the VMware shared folders. It'll take you directly into um, your Mac. Uh, so, where we want to go, uh, I've saved it on the desktop, so you go desktop, and we'll just copy it directly over, like so. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Alright guys, one thing I forgot to mention also is that this won't actually work uh, with uh, the original uh, EXE. You actually have to get a no CD patched version. So I've downloaded it here. It's, uh, you have to get 1.4 because the Mac version has 1.4 version uh, patched of uh, Need for Speed Carbon, so you want to download that, uh, I can't reveal the source obviously for um, reasons that you can't really do that but you have to do it anyway, but just go on Google and type in um, uh, Need for Speed Carbon uh, No CD and it will show you links where you can go. So basically you just want to open it up in WinRAR uh, in your Windows applications, but in case Windows at B and you copy it directly to your your directory, so I'll do that now. I'll just copy it through. Try that again. There we go. So there it is. There. So you want to change this to. You want to copy it over to the carbon directory. So yep, you want to replace, and you want to change this to speed two. Now you can open up uh, Universal Widescreen Patcher. Uh, so I'm just going to select Neve Speed uh, Underground 2. You have to select Underground 2. 
uh, fine for me. It's found it. Beautiful. There's the resolution. So I'm going to put in 1920 by 1200 because carbon won't go above that resolution as far as I'm told. And just hit patch. Alright, so that's done. So basically now all you do is close that out and now go into and rename this to NFSC. Brilliant. Okay. So we've done what we need to be doing with carbon. Now I'm going to copy this directly back into my directory here. Uh, here we go. I might delete that. Yep, delete that. And copy this directly over. Alright, I will be copying this directly in, but I will be doing a few backups. But uh, I'll let this go through and uh, tell you what to do after you get to that point. Okay, basically now uh, you've, you copy it directly into uh, your carbon location. So that's all well and good. Um, so I don't need this anymore. So now I'm just going to close all this off. And I'm just going to double click on carbon to see if it runs okay we've got her in widescreen 1920 by 1200 Hi, resolution the moves that you and your crew do in the game are meant to stay in the game in the real world drive safe obey the laws of the road and always wear your seatbelt okay it's working perfect at 1920 by 1200 resolution so far. Let's see if we can get into the game. Now this is a fresh install, so I haven't installed uh, anything new. So I'm just going to see what specs it's actually set to. Okay, video. Oh, it's got low detail, but I'll put it up to high. <laughs> Alright, it's up to high detail. So let's see how we go with that one, eh? Alright, done. Okay, let's see how we go. So I'm just going to go into a game. Alright, so this is running at 1920 by 1200 resolution. Uh, so I go career. Actually, we'll try just a quick race. All available races. Solo. <coughs> yep, we'll just go the Chevy. Automatic. Yep, we'll just go that guy. Alright, moving in. Let's see how well this runs. As Need for Speed Car Mode, running at 1920 by 1200 resolution on the Mac, and it runs pretty smooth. Thanks, guys. Cheers.